Hi everyone, I'm Phaedra and we have been growing in hot houses and grow spaces like covered spaces for years now and I want to show you the most important aspect of setting up your uh, tunnel or even if it's one of those little little tiny seed raising tents whatever you're using you must secure it down and I'm going to show you how to do that today. Today what I'm going to demonstrate on is a small tunnel like a small grow tunnel it was just an Amazon buy I'll put the link in the description below for this one so it comes with a cover I don't use those I actually attach these together and make a big tunnel this one that I'm showing on the screen now is the tunnel that we made a little while back and we actually covered it in plastic today's tunnel I'm covering it in shade cloth it doesn't matter what you're covering it in you still need to secure it down really really well and it doesn't matter how big or how small it is, it must be connected to the ground. Even a little bit of breeze can get up underneath these, you know, structures and just take them away. And it knocks over all your plants on the inside. It's happened to us. I'm sure it's happened to many of you and you're probably watching this video because it's happened to you. <laughs> so let's get into it. We're going to make a little hole here in the ground to get our piece of, you know, our stake through. And then we're going to hammer that in and cable tie it. On this structure, we will have six. We'll have, you know, one on each end. So there's four and then one on each side in the middle to secure it all down. So the first thing I do is I set the structure up where I want it to be. Because I'm putting mine on weed barrier, you do need to make a little hole. And it's just a small enough hole to get whatever stake or metal bar or whatever it is that you're using to secure. You just want it to get through that um, weed barrier if you make it too big you're going to get a lot of grass through it too so I lay I set out my frame first and then I go around and I make those holes where each of those poles are going to be next thing you want to do is move your structure out of the way so I'll just move it over a couple of centimeters or a foot to one side so that I can access those holes because if you're using tall pickets and you're using a post driver to do it and you accidentally get one of these edges it's going to bend it or it'll snap it straight off and I know this because I've done it and of course with a hammer it's just easy access so we're just going to move this out of the way and then we're going to start hammering these poles in Now that we've got all our posts in, if you were doing plastic covering, you'd want them low enough before it starts to dome over so that it's not gonna rub against the plastic and you may need to put a cap on the top as well. This is gonna be a shade cloth, like a shade house. So I don't need to do that. But the next step is you've got, it, you've got the ground anchors in. What you need to now do is attach the frame to the ground anchor and I just cable tie. I just go through and pull it really tight with some cable ties. Do this in a couple of spots. You want to make sure it's very well secured. If your post doesn't have these holes, just go around the whole thing. You just want to secure it in nice and tight. So if the wind does to try to take it off, you've got lots of anchor points. So if a few bust open, the rest may not bust open. And there you have it, safely secured. Everything is tied down, it's not going anywhere. Our plastic covered hothouse has been standing there for a few years now. We've been through really full on winds and storms. It's done really well. Just do yourself a favor, secure your growing spaces, your frames and structures. Every now and again, something disastrous is gonna happen, but at least in those small instances, where you get a storm or you get a gust of wind, you're, you're keeping your plants safe. Follow along if you'd like to see what else I get up to here on the farm and I'll see you in the next video.